Hey guys, Jay here, and in this video today, I want to show you guys uh, an interaction that I uh, realized kind of right now how it actually works. So this is Spectral Helix. If I cast one, it will go like this, right? It will always go this side. If I put this thing on, I cast one. This seems like it is, you know, staying standing still, but it is not. It actually is moving very slowly to the opposite side. What is happening here is I am having a lot of reduced projectile speed, and we all know that, uh, I think we all know already, except if you're new, the reduced projectile speed makes spectral helix just last very long because they move very slowly because they normally travel to a fixed distance before they actually, you know, disappear. This thing just make it, like, travel very slowly, and so it can just continuously damage a target, right? Which makes it, like, insane for single target, potentially. And the thing is, I am having 82% reduced projectile speed over here, and 10% here, and 10% here, so I have 102% reduce projectile speed instead of 100%. And so, I think if we have exactly 100%, this I have not tested, but I think accordingly it should like just stand still, it should not move at all. But here, because I have a little bit over, so it is moving like in a very slow speed on the other direction, basically. And uh, it is kind of interesting to me. I thought if I go like over 100%, it will just treat it as like 100%. But apparently, it's still moving. It is still moving. If you you know you you you, you can try to notice that it, it is still moving, right? <laughs> Which is kind of funny for me to be honest. But let me uh, actually go and okay. Let me uh, first of all swap this thing back. And for any like boss encounter that you can uh, kind of like preload a lot of um, throws, then it, it, it is kind of insane. The only drawback is the the the. the what is it? The uh, hitbox of the projectile is actually very, very small. So, for example, this guy takes a lot of time to spawn over here. And I can just preload like a shit ton of it. And you will see that he would just disappear. Right? And this actually is the case for, <laughs> for a lot of bosses in the game. Uh, especially Pinnacle. So, technically... I think if you get like exactly 100%, right? Where is, where is Pi? Alright, here it is. Well, this is technically not like preloading, but yeah, it is a lot of damage. Still, because uh, the projectiles can hit a target multiple times, not just once per projectile, but it can hit like a lot of time, right? So you see here, he will not be able to escape from this spot because uh, the projectile will still be there. Keep damaging him. Keep getting him. Oh. <laughs> okay, you win. You win, Dareso. You win. Okay, and let's see. Uh, this is just a normal uh, shaper because it is the only boss that currently I am having, you know, right here. I'll show you the damage. I mean, theoretically, we can just 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 do any boss. Up. I should have uh, anticipated that. That is my bad. I got uh, way like kind of carried over. I'm super bad at bossing, and I am trying to make this character to basically like trivialize bosses and normally by the way normally 
For clearing, I'm not using this shitty slow projectile shenanigan, obviously. You know, because it does not really make sense. It is not good at all for clearing, as you can imagine. For clearing, normally I would use a Frost Blade of Katabasis over here. It feels the best to me right now. It is a four link. I link it to I link it to uh, ancestral ancestral call. This character is nowhere near finished. My crit chance is not capped. Uh, my accuracy is only like um, let's say uh, I think it's around thirty k. So I saw previously people use accuracy stacking uh, with like GG gear. They should have like six k ish. I think. I think right now, just because of the the slower projectile interaction, and if I do get a little bit more experience on bosses, I know where the hitbox is, and I know exactly how to load up like correctly the projectiles. So when the boss appear, all the projectiles is hitting the boss like immediately. As you can see here, if I use just the uh, frost blade of catabasis, it is okay. It's not too bad. Again, just hold the attack button and because as you can see right <laughs> okay that is that is 100% me, alright? That is 100% me. Uh, this is a very, very glass cannon character, by the way. Even though it looks... Uh, the number of health is actually okay, but I pretty much have no level of mitigation at all. You see, you see that? I I load up a, a bunch of projectile, but none of them actually are hitting. So that is just, I think... Skill issue, pretty much, right? It is skill issues. Obviously, uh, I don't think you need to use this particular skill for, you know, for single target, because the amount of damage seems to be way more than enough if you just if you just use any skill. But I, 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 I bought the amulet. It it cost me a hundred divine. I think a hundred divine for it. It's still pretty cheap, right? Uh, but it is a very like unique and narrow amulet to work around since it has reduced projectile speed and the only skills that are you know interacting positively with reduced projectile speed are again bow lightning, rolling magma, and then also this skill spectral helix. And spectral helix is the skill that is like infinitely, infinitely better. For example, the Bow Lightning, you just need a certain amount of reduced projectile speed and maybe AoE to hit like 30 times per ball, which is the maximum amount of hits you can have with like one Bow Lightning. And the Rolling Magma, you can load like a certain amount of ball up. But this thing can be like, literally, it can be infinite, assuming that you have enough time. I can just stand here, load up a shitload of projectiles, and everything that appears we just die, right? Technically, I don't even need to like load up like an insane amount here. You can see, right? He's just disappearing. So yeah, this is what I want to show in this video. Normally, mapping. I will just use a four link. As you can see here, the tool tip for a four links. Uh, Frost blade of catabasis is. Wait a minute. I need to reach low life before it shows the damage. Okay, the tool tip is close to five hundred thousand in game, which is a pretty pretty damn big number when you see it in game. Oof. Ah. 
nothing. All right, uh, let, 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 let me actually run a map. Uh, for now, I would not run tier 17 yet because defensively it is dog shit, right? Let's just run a random map over here. To show you, basically show you the mapping, you know, how the mapping looks like. The character right now is kind of too fast for me to control really well. I think I left out like a lot of the time. I would just try to move through the map and you know show you what the speed can be, right? <clears throat> Obviously, if you want to stop for any content that require you to stop, for example, like uh, ritual over here, you can stop for ritual. But normally, mapping looks like this. The Whirling Blade is insanely fast. By the way, I'm linking the uh, Whirling Blade to uh, Brutality. The reason why I linked it to Brutality, even though we deal like only lightning damage in the in the case of Dorian E Pro type over here, is because Whirling Blade, if I don't link it to uh, Volatility in Elemental Reflect map, I will just one-shot myself to reflect and I don't want that to happen right? and there are two ways to deal with uh, elemental reflect which is the first way is awaken elemental damage with attack level 5 it will give you um, immune to reflect for elemental the second way is to make the skill deals no damage which is a brutality here linked to whirling blade it works well I like it all right Pretty much normal mapping just look like we, you whirl around and you just use Frostblade Catabasis. The slower projectile shenanigan, you don't need to use it at all. By the way, you can obviously go Lightning Strike with this setup. It is going to be meta as fuck to use Lightning Strike, right? The Frostblade uh, is a falling, so in terms of like single target, it is a little bit lacking. So if you want to, you can still use the, as you can see there, if I shoot a bunch of the projectiles, it would just like kill the boss instantly because of how it works. So yeah, that is just some uh, mapping randomly. And yeah, I will keep update on this guy. Uh, maybe with uh, some uh, footage of me doing Ubers for the first time in a very long time already. And yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you like it. And leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It does help me greatly. I am very close to 3,000 subscribers. It is another another big milestone for me. And you know, I cannot wait to do more content in POE. Peace. Happy with you.